A pleasant learning day everyone! On this video lesson, I will show you the different properties and conditions that makes a quadrilateral a parallelogram. Again, this is your teacher Merlin, and let us explore the world of parallelogram. Let us start by describing a parallelogram. It is a quadrilateral whose both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Let us consider this figure and let us name our quadrilateral A, B, C, D. If side AB is parallel to side DC in symbols, so AB is parallel to DC. On other hand, the other two opposite sides, AD and BC, are parallel. So in symbols, we can say that DA is parallel to CB. Let us have a deeper understanding of a parallelogram by looking at its properties. First, the opposite sides are congruent. Let us name this parallelogram F-A-C-E. To be parallelogram, side F-A must be of equal length as of side E-C. Let us write it in symbol F-A is congruent to E-C. Similarly, F-E must have the same length measure as side AC. So FE is congruent to side AC. Using these properties, if the length measure of FA is 15 centimeters and the side FA is congruent to EC, then EC is equal to 15 centimeters. However, if the length of side AC is 10 centimeters and FE is congruent to AC, then we can say that side FE is the same as 10 centimeters. Now let us proceed to the second property. The opposite angles are congruent. Let us illustrate this using our parallelogram FACE. In order this quadrilateral to be called parallelogram, their opposite angles are congruent. So angle F is congruent to angle C. Similarly, angle E is congruent to angle A. Let us show this in our example. In parallelogram FACE, the measure of angle F is 105 degrees. Since angle F is congruent to angle C, then Angle C is also equivalent to 105 degrees. On other hand, if the measure of angle A is 75 degrees and angle E is congruent to angle A, then angle E is equal to 75 degrees. Another property of parallelogram is that any two consecutive angles are supplementary. In parallelogram MASK, the consecutive angles are angle M and angle A, such that angle M plus angle A 
is equal to 180 degrees. Same with angle A and angle S. They are consecutive angles. So their sum is also 180 degrees. The same with angle S and angle K. Their sum is also 180 degrees. And angle K plus the angle M, so absolutely, their sum is 180 degrees. Using our previous figure of parallelogram FACE, let us consider angle F and angle A as our consecutive angles. So the measure of angle F plus the measure of angle A is equal to 180 degrees. Substituting their corresponding angle measure, angle F is 105 degrees and angle A measures 75 degrees. So adding 105 and 75 degrees, the sum is 180. The same thing with the measure of angle A and the measure of angle C where they are consecutive angles. So adding 75, which is the measure of angle A, and 105 degrees as the measure of angle C, then their sum is 180 degrees. Now let us proceed to the fourth property of parallelogram, which is the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. In the parallelogram MASK, if we connect two non-consecutive vertices, we will form the diagonals. Let us consider vertex M and S to form the diagonal MS. Same thing, if we connect vertex K and A, we will form diagonal KA. The two diagonals, MS and KA, meet and intersect at point O. This point serves as the point of bisector. Then, the length of MO is equal to the length of OS. Then, MO is congruent to OS. Same thing happened to KO which is equal to the length measure of OA. Therefore, segment KO is congruent to segment OA. Let us consider this measurement. If MO is congruent to OS and the measure of MO is 8 cm, then OS is also equal to 8 cm. Similarly, if KO is congruent to OA and the length of KO is 12 cm, then OA is also 12 cm. The last among the properties of quadrilateral is the diagonal divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. In the parallelogram MASK, if we draw diagonal KA, observe that two triangles are formed. To illustrate it in a more detailed way, let us draw the side KM MA and AK. This is the first triangle. On the other hand, this is our side AS. We have side SK and the side KA. This figure showed 
how I separated the parallelogram into two triangles. And this triangle KMA is congruent to triangle ASK. Let me show you how we prove the congruency between the two triangles. Let us have the column for the statements and the columns for the reasons. If we say KM is congruent to AS, this is because the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. The same if we say MA is congruent to SK because these two sides are opposites to each other, then they are congruent. Then AK is congruent to KA. Since this side is a common side to both triangles, we can reason out that they are congruent by reflexive property. Since the corresponding sides of two triangles are congruent, we can now say that the triangle KMA is congruent to triangle ASK by the side-side-side postulate. Since I have mentioned the different properties of a parallelogram, let me enumerate the conditions for a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram. First, if both pairs of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. This is our parallelogram. The opposite sides and they are congruent. And this is the two other opposite sides and they are also congruent. Another condition is that if pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are both parallel and congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Our parallelogram, the first pair of opposite sides, they must be parallel and congruent. This is another pair of opposite sides. They are also parallel and congruent. The third condition is if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other, the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Let us look at our figure. This is our parallelogram. The first diagonal and the other diagonal. The first diagonal are divided equally. The other diagonal is bisected and equally divided into two parts. The last condition for a quadrilateral to be parallelogram is that if opposite angles of a quadrilateral are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. This is our parallelogram. The opposite angles, they have the same measure and congruent. Similar to other two opposite angles, they must also be congruent. That's all for today's topic. As I always want you to put in action our food for thought, Congruence between what you say and what you do is the key to authentic happiness. This is Primus by Paul C.P. Wong. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone.